Nutanix Data Lens now offers enhanced ransomware protection, where file access patterns are used to detect threats and block clients and users behind the attack. This detection helps in stopping zero-day exploits of unknown ransomware variants. Let's view this in action. Here you can see the ransomware page of Data Lens for our file server. Data Lens displays self-service restore status, the block signature list, and any discovered threats and blocked entities from this page. If we go to Settings and then Edit Policy, you can see how we can now detect and act on ransomware threats based on either file signature matches or event patterns. You can optionally block clients and users when these threats are discovered. What we'll do now is kick off a script that will emulate a ransomware pattern. First, files are created, and then they are read, overwritten, and renamed, which emulates a common ransomware audit pattern. First, I'll show you the, what the files look like before the attack. And then over the next five minutes, which we've sped up here to save some time, you'll start to see the ransomware pattern detected by Data Lens. Watch the impacted files counter increase within the highlighted threats table. You can see the impacted files have increased and we now have a blocked entity, both the client based on the IP address and also the user associated with the attack. We can now see that we are blocked from accessing this share. So both this client and this user can no longer access the share. And if the ransomware attack were to try to continue, the patterns would continue to be blocked based on this user and client prevention. Because we configured Data Lens to alert based on email, we can see the email that gets sent based on this detection. We can understand the share that was impacted, the blocked client, the blocked user, as well as the time of the event. If we wanted to start to remediate the environment and understand which files were impacted, we can drill down into the threat and look at the impacted files. All the impacted files can be viewed here. And we can also export this list out to either CSV or JSON for further reporting or remediation. Because we know self-service restore is enabled, we can go directly to the share go to those share properties and go to previous versions. Based on these previous versions and the timestamp we were given by Data Lens, we can go back, understand the right and correct state of the file before the ransomware event occurred and restore these files to a known good state. Data Lens helps you stop the ransomware threat with detection, prevention, and recovery for your environment. Go to Nutanix.com to learn more.